back. Oh, oh, this is going to be bad here. Zai is going to be able to lead with the slow and uh, almost able to pop him real quickly. If Feta makes a quick little phase shift to jump away, Furion teleporting in, and they can actually finish him up. Potentially heal going up, and Feta living with bottle hits will be able to get himself out, it seems, with those bottle hits is enough. Now they can actually turn this around. Universe is in some serious trouble. They can get the first blood here with the orb going out, too. Maybe it's actually Pi like that. Who's going to fall first here? Pi's away. Feta getting low. Zai looking for that last hit, and he gets it, too. Zai will now fall to one last right click, turns around, gets it on Pi Lai Dai. Double kill for Zai. Not only getting the first blood, but double triple for Cloud9. As Zai for fear of any potential rotations, Bone 7 trying to get his way to the cliff. The stun goes out. No, it doesn't actually. And Bone 7 gets his way up and will now just abuse the cliff as best as possible. But look at the way they're surrounding him. Cyclone goes out. Zai waiting for his opportunity. Slows him down with a concussive shot. And they will be able to finish off Bone 7 with those last couple of right clicks. The turnaround, though, fear. Going to be able to take down at least the familiar, but Zai's in some serious trouble. Purification goes off. Feta unable to finish him off in time as one versus three is a bit too dangerous for him. Blast goes out. Unable to clip those two heroes. Naga Siren sleep and a nice little reset there. They're going to actually go for it. Fear finds that one support pickoff, but this should be a double as PPD completely out of mana. The silence goes out. Orp lands on PPD and Zai. One last. Oh my goodness. The illusion from Feta actually claims the kill. Double for Feta to find that pickoff and then start pushing down these lanes. Zai runs right into two. Silence goes off first onto Veda, and that could be big. Zai is going to live a bit longer thanks to the lack of nukes. Veda gets hit by one, throws in. Ultimate going out. Oh, the nuke is actually coming in. Veda, he's got to bottle up to live through this one. He should be fine as the face shift will dodge it. Stun onto Eternal Envy. is going to hold him in place a little bit longer with the ultimate down. He's got no escape away from this one. Cyclone goes out. Nuke going to come in, and they're just going to abandon Eternal Envy, it seems, as uh, he has no out whatsoever. Last new will be able to finish him off, and Evil Genius is 13-4, a very commanding lead 15 minutes into this game. The tower going to be getting low at the same time. Bone 7 trying to catch him out. Oh, the Dream Coil comes a second too late there from Veda, trying to hold Fear in. They'll go back to claiming this tower. Eternal Envy pops his ultimate, and they all teleport away, and instantly gets the sleep. On to Arteezy. They're going to set up for this one. Arteezy does have an Aegis, though. It's a dangerous fight, especially with Zai coming in from the bottom side. Locking down Eternal Envy's Naga Siren and pops him real quickly. Arteezy in the... Pylite dies, spamming out as much as he can, but Arteezy on the front lines. Oh, that one shot on Pylite dies. So much damage. Fear. Double clap slow. He's going to be able to pop the ultimate. Gets one, gets two. As Veda unable to make the leap to his orb, the damage just overwhelms them. And now they're just going to stall up the rest. Pylite die having some issues with the Storm Panda. Arteezy will go right back to right clicking this tier 3 tower. And 22 sustain. And then they can't even right click him as just that butterfly is able to save him. Eternal Envy gets off the ultimate. Arteezy forces him back with an ultimate of his own. And the rest of Cloud9. Unable to do much with that setup. Now gonna jump in onto Fear, dragging him back into the enemy base. Veda gets off a nice little silence, but now he's been silenced up as well. He's trying to get away from this last nuke. Face shift not in time. He gets taken down as Zai. Well, he's gonna be taking a lot of burst damage. He will fall. Gets off the ultimate, does a little bit of damage to Arteezy on the way out, or on Turtle Envy, rather. Right in front of your base, because you just cannot fight me. Arteezy on the front lines with the repel. Eternal Envy starts moving forward. The ultimate going off, and they will be able to get it. But the lasso dragging him back all the way into the tier fours with that ultimate still holding the rest of Evil Geniuses in place. But Arteezy, he's taking no damage. Now the purification renders that Nas nuke from Visage useless as he's going to fall. Eternal Envy on his way out, chased away by the Fire Panda. But it looks like Evil Geniuses are on their way to the finals as they push in a second set of racks. Cloud9 with the buyback of the Keeper of the Light. Not enough to save the middle set of racks. Bone 7. Oh, the Cyclone goes off actually saving him from that initiation. What can they really do without the Naga Siren Ultimate? There's nothing there. Fata gets a nice jump in. Three man Dream Coil. But is it really going to be enough? Bone 7 does what fire damage he can, but nobody gets low enough to finish off one hero. Cloud 9 lose another. It's a very interesting take on Shadowfiend. Shadowfiend has t two skills that just gives him tons and tons of damage with Necromastery and Presence of the Dark Lord. And even without any items, he's right clicks oh, inside. Oh, so everyone. That silence goes down. He's got a buyback, and he's willing to use it too if they can catch out some extra kills. Fear's going to get taken down. Still holding on to that buyback, potentially looking for a surprise here. Zai burning from that Radiance. Eternal Envy gets Scythe the Vice up. Now the right clicks from Arteezy. Looking to be able to finish him off before the jump away. One last nuke. Arteezy just needs one right click. Eternal Envy 
Muffy, he's so damn fast, but finally the new comes in. Arteezy finishes him off, and is he even going to be punished for this one? PPD gets silenced, lasso back, and can they kill the Juggernaut? They do, Arteezy to fall, but unfortunately, it's still at least a range rack's gonna go down to the top lane. Universe trying to run himself out. Zai, meanwhile, finding pickoffs inside of the fountain, no problem. And Snare goes out, nice, use of the Yule Scepter, buys him a little bit more time, and that's all he's doing. Flame Break goes out, can he actually get an additional kill? Goes in, wins the right click, man, fight up against a bat rider. Now Arteezy comes in. Eternal Envy delays the inevitable as GG is called. And Evil Geniuses will be the second team moving on to the finals. Very well drafted by PVD. Well played by Arteezy and everyone on EG. I mean, Zai, Fear, everyone. Amazing play. Evil Geniuses.